First class requirement number four, part B. Using the menu planned in the requirement 4A, make a list showing the cost and food amounts needed to feed three or more boys and secure the ingredients. You remember requirement 4A? That's where we were ready to sink our teeth into a wonderful camp dinner until somebody wanted to talk about planning. Well, planning is important, especially when you're talking about food. Well, when you're right, you're right. So, in our last episode, we finished planning our patrol menu for the campout and writing it up in our cooking notebook. Hmm, nice penmanship. So, with your menus done, it's time to figure out the number of servings and quantities based on the size of your patrol. Now, this isn't rocket science. Just take one item at a time. See what ingredients it takes to make a serving and then multiply that by how many servings you need to feed your patrol. You can refer to the list of serving sizes and quantities in your Boy Scout handbook as a guide. By the time you go through each item in your menu, then add up the totals for each ingredient, you'll be ready to make a shopping list. As you get more experienced at camp cooking, you'll see some food items used on almost every trip. There are staples like flour, butter, and sugar, condiments like ketchup and mustard, and spices. You can check your Boy Scout handbook for the details. Make yourself a spice kit using plastic containers to hold small amounts of salt, pepper, chili powder, garlic flakes, herbs, and cinnamon. It weighs almost nothing, but packs a lot of flavor. With your completed shopping list in hand, you can make a preliminary trip to the grocery store to check prices. Then add up the total cost, divide by the number of patrol members on the outing, and you'll get your food cost per person. Now you're ready to go shopping. When it comes time to pack your food items, it's a good idea to measure out just the amount of each ingredient you'll need for each meal on the outing. And be sure to label the containers with the contents and instructions. You'd be surprised how similar salt and sugar look without a label. That's a cooking mistake you do not want to make. This may all sound like a lot of work, and it is. But imagine what your pack would weigh if you didn't pre-measure and take just what you needed. With a little pre-planning and pre-measuring, you'll really take a load off your mind and off your back. That's first class requirement 4B. Make a list showing the cost and amounts of food for three boys or more. And then secure the ingredients.